Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'll teach you the easiest and fastest way to achieve this animation in After Effects. You can download the working file in the description below. Feel free to take it and follow along. Let's get started. This animation is pretty simple actually. Let's see what we have. First of all, if I solo these two blue layer here, you can see we just have this gradient bar animation that's going on the screen and then off the screen. That's a blue gradient. And then we have the yellow gradient. And if I play it, this is what it looks like. That's our shape animation. And each of these layers have a gradient overlay under layer style, and then the color would be the light color blue to dark color blue. And this one would be the yellow gradient that we see on screen here with a little bit of pink on the side. This is what it looks like. And then after the gradient bar, we also have a blue gradient background. Once we put the bar animation in the background, this is what it looks like here. That's good. Next thing is that we need to add the circle aura. This is our circle aura animation. Let's add that. In this tutorial, I just want to show you how to animate this circle aura. So if we go to our circle composition, this is actually our animation. Let me turn off the adjustment layer. This is actually a pretty straightforward setup. I have all these different color triangles in 3D space, and then they're all pairing it to this null here. And I just have this null rotating in 3D space, having an animation like this. After we have this animation set up, we can add an adjustment layer. And then in the adjustment layer, we added a fast box blur effect. The blur radius is 120 this is what it looks like. If I make a new composition, call it circle comp, and then let's drop this circle composition inside. What we can do is we can draw a mask on top of this circle animation that we already animated. And then if we play it, let's also add a new background, new solid, let's do a darker blue background, drop it at the back. And this is going to be our aura animation. That's how we animate the aura in the first scene. Now it looks pretty abrupt. We need to add some layer style to it. Let's go right click layer style and then let's do inner glow. You can choose probably a white color. Let's try a white color and then change the size of the inner glow to maybe 100 and then add a little bit of noise opacity we can tone it down maybe 45 percent so it's got some inner glow to it we can also even make the size a bit larger let's do 150 that looks pretty good And that's how we set up the circle aura. You can also change the color inside the aura to whatever color you like. And in terms of animation, this can be random. Anything can work pretty well. As long as you have a good color combination, color palette, this kind of animation will work pretty well. Right now, the way I animated the Y rotation in 3D space is that I just use a time times 75 expression. So that is moving, rotating in the Y space constantly. And if I go back to the main composition, if I solo the circle, this is our aura ball here, animated. And you can see the inner glow that I added on top of the aura. It looks pretty nice. And the last thing we need to add is the reflection over here. 
if you see my reflection layer, this is uh, circle shadow three. You can also call it shadow. All I did is I duplicated the circle layer, made it bigger, and then added a Gaussian blur. Set the blurriness to 200, and then use the shape layer over here as an alpha mat of the circle shadow. That's why I have this blurred shadow and also tone down the opacity. You can tone down the opacity to 50% or 70%. I have it at 100 right now. And this is the same way I made the second shadow here or reflection, you can call it. Just use the second shape as an alpha channel of the circle shadow. And that's also how I made the third one on the right hand side. After these three steps, I added the animation. And that's how I set up this whole scene here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. We'll be publishing more videos like this every single week. Please leave me a like and consider subscribing. We also have a free exclusive community where motion designers and animators hang out and learn from each other. Click the link in the description to join our community. See you in the next one.